whether you are considering Ahmedabad University for your MBA or simply curious to know about the campus. Do not miss out on this video as students share their enriching experiences that awaits you at the campus. the admission process it has uh, three rounds and uh, they accept uh, almost all the entrance exams uh, for example they accept that they, uh, they accept nmat cmat mat uh, gmat uh, also uh, uh, the uh, the admission process uh, it goes after so after you are eligible uh, to your uh, entrance exams uh, you After your, after your application, you you will be called in for uh, interview. But, but prior to that, you'll have a written assessment test, and after that, you'll have a, have an interview. Faculty over here now. The kind of faculty that we have, starting from our program, program chain, these are people who have come from IIMs. and at the same time to ensure that in mba right mba is mostly to give you a practical exposure right so for the core subjects that we have something that requires more practical exposure we have visiting faculty who come in now these are industry expert who are charter holders and at the same time who have gained say a decade of experience in the industry quickly giving an example we have a business valuation course this is taught that is taught this semester it is taught by my young sir who is a cfa and currently a volunteer at cfa as well and holds his own firm at the same time when we talk about other subjects like hr then we have uh, industry veterans who have had 20 years of experience into the field and are currently part of the revolution that's taking place in hr practices right so when i talk about the kind of mix faculty mix that we have it's combination of both it, the both visiting as well as our in house faculty right so that's a bit about the faculty and uh, one thing that is prominent over here is that no matter what doubts you have what questions you have the faculty is available for you 24/7 when i say 24/7 literally because even at the night 11 o'clock when you drop a mail or send a message to your faculty regarding any doubts related to assignments or so they are much more than willing to help you out with it right uh, so that is one thing about faculty talking about infrastructure uh, the only thing that i would like to say is you need to visit our campus uh, then only you will be able to get a feel of it uh, and uh, we have every everything that's required to nurture your growth uh, right from libraries uh, working areas silent study rooms uh, good sports complex and, and uh, yeah our classrooms as well so there's a lot uh, uh, in terms of infra as well that can you know give you that ecosystem to learn with a peaceful mind at the same time you can have a lot of discussions with your friends or strangers as well so so uh, first and foremost uh, this is something that i would like to address to all the students who are, who are aspiring to pursue mba placement is something that is completely and entirely going to uh, be up to you right uh, it's not going to be that okay there is going to be someone who is going to just land you the perfect dream job that you are looking out for but if you work hard and do good for kind of thing for career development center we that is there it helps particular process so we have a, a very very strong uh, career development center that looks into capability development at the core so every week right from your uh, first semester on you will be having guest sessions you will be having externals will be coming in to give you an exposure of what is there right many times what happens is mba students we are very much unclear as to what do we want to see whether we want to do marketing finance or hr and the center over here uh, gives you the opportunity to discuss with them about your preferences to understand which stream that you are actually looking out for so i'll give you a quick example of asta over here I, i'm sure she's going to share it as well but uh, how the cdc helped her is she was looking for a marketing role in the hospitality segment right now that's something very niche and a specific uh, you know need the cdc still went out and found her an internship for the same so our internship drive is over right now and uh, we have in the past couple of months we have been having back to back opportunities in finance and marketing in hr that have been and, and in operations as well that have been coming to us so in that aspect you will be getting the opportunities but 
when we talk about see the packages or the benefits that you'll be getting that is going to be on your capability on how much are you able to present yourself uh, to the companies so yeah that is a bit about the career development center and the uh, campus placements here to you it is on you because uh, so the other day uh, i was having this conversation with a senior and even she mentioned that uh, so the placements are there for you they are they are being offered to you but it is on you how, how you are presenting yourself how you are crafting it plus uh, aptitude is something that everybody needs to work upon so some some companies do have a criteria as well if you have to clear certain uh, first like certain uh, percentage you get you have to get certain percentage of uh, per is percentages and we have to go and then you get qualified even if you are good at your field even if you are good at your uh, uh, area of interest you need to be uh, somewhat uh, you know qualified for that and so what uh, this helps us in your sense so if they uh, very uh, very often they get it's us they give us uh, some aptitude test that we can prepare so they have given us uh, content they have given us uh, uh, links to uh, or links to what structure so our fee structure we, we have uh, semester fees that are there and the total total fees for our batch was 7 lakhs right and uh, how is this is divided is again as i said on every semester you have to uh, pay that particular fee uh, talking about value for money the reason why we feel that uh, we are going to get a lot of roi out of it is first and foremost uh the kind of faculty that again i'll come back to the point of faculty and the learnings that you will get right these are the two things that actually help us measure the roi when it comes to mba programs if you have the best faculty if you have the best infrastructure if you have the best opportunities then there is nothing like it okay at the same time amtabad university has a strong international exposure as well there are programs that are conducted alongside international universities wherein we get to experience different cultures different uh, global perspectives as well right and uh, i think this is what sums it up when when we talk about for value for money uh, by so as i said earlier that i have some work experience my entire objective of doing an mba was to grow right uh, academically that's a different thing but grow in terms of my career right Uh, i come from an engineering background i am aware that many uh, you know mba many many mba aspirants also come from engineering background and it is tough for them when when they get into the management field right uh, that is one reason why i chose mba and why amdavad university is solely because of two reasons uh, one the faculty so i was not aware about the courses offered here or anything like that and a friend of mine did his uh, bachelor's from your bachelor's in business administration and he shared with me the kind of faculty that is that is there over here and at the same time the experience that they bring along with them and the classroom engagement that's there so that made me you know have that uh, curiosity that okay aisa to kya hai dekhte hain what kind of faculty is there and believe me when you go to the website when you go through their profiles you will understand the kind of experience the kind of background do they come from right and at the same time the second thing that obviously what uh, asa mentioned about the root camp that was one of the another factors that uh, attracted me to join the mba program here but there was one more factor that was uh, you know the way things are taught here now ideally what happens in mba schools is you have a set of curriculum that okay marketing hr finance ऑपरेशंस ये तुम्हारे फिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स है और ये तुम्हें पढ़ने हैं राइट इफ यू डूइंग स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड ओवर योर सेकंड ईयर यू हैव जस्ट दोस जैसे कि फाइनेंस का फाइनेंस इज कोर्सेज है राइट बट दैट इज नॉट हाउ थिंग्स वर्क हियर आफ्टर द सेकंड सेमेस्टर यू गेट टू चूज योर सब्जेक्ट्स यू हैव योर कोर सब्जेक्ट्स दैट कंप्लीट बाय द सेकंड सेमेस्टर योर थर्ड फोर्थ सेमेस्टर यू हैव द फ्रीडम टू चूज सब्जेक्ट्स नॉट जस्ट फ्रॉम मैनेजमेंट बट वी हैव अ स्कूल ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड over here we have school of arts and sciences over here so you can select courses from there as well 